what is up everybody my name is jack quinn welcome back to the channel i'm currently in my car because i want to give you guys a clean crisp introduction for this video i am at the las vegas motor speedway for the pennzoil 400 not in the garage this time uh because on today's episode of me being a dumbass i forgot to take out the garage pass that i won on friday out of my jacket that i've been wearing all weekend and i left my jacket at home and i forgot to take it out of the jacket and bring it with me so i do not have a garage pass i did however win tickets to the penzo or to the south point 400 that'll be here in october so I will definitely be here for the South Point 400. Uh, whether or not I'm here for the other two races, I'm not 100% sure. I have a Starburst. I forgot I had a Starburst. So we're going to go into the track. There's not going to be much that we're going to do, probably. Um, because I can't go into the garage. Driver's meeting in the Neon Garage is going to be starting in roughly a few minutes. Uh... That is soft. It's been in my bag. Um, let me see here. I have a picture saved of the schedule for all three days. See, so yeah, so the driver's meeting is going to start in about 20 minutes. If I had a garage pass, I would definitely be in there and having a camp out spot. But I forgot a garage pass. So that is not happening. Um, which it's fine. Not a whole lot of drivers sign things anyway, and I don't have anything for drivers to sign. If Chase was signing things, I'd probably have him sign my hat. Um, if Larson was here, I'd have him sign the little, um, paper cutout of him from last year. If Stenhouse was signing things, I have a die cast a 164 replica of his daytona 500 win in my bag that i bought last year to do a to try and do a meet and greet with stenhouse when he was doing a meet and greet over at a smith's like close to my house but that did not happen so i have it and it's on display so we're gonna head into the track. It is windy. It is, it's a little windy here today. Uh, breeze is a nice strong breeze, so we'll see if that plays effect into the cup race today. Um, I'm surprised it wasn't as much of a factor yesterday in the Xfinity race. I'm surprised it wasn't much of a factor in the truck race on Friday night. But we'll see how much of a factor it is today with the Pennzoil 400. <laughs>
seven laps down already. No idea what the issue is on the 71. But Christopher Bell, flat tire early here in Vegas. together. He hit it that hard. This is great. This is going to be a good race. So, about nine, eight, nine laps into the, the race, Busher had a, or not Busher, Bell had a tire issue. Fast forward another eight to nine laps, and Chris Busher has a tire issue. So... This is gonna be a long race if we keep having tire issues. This might be, we might be here a while. Rather than this being three hours, this might be four to five hours. We shall see. There is where they are doing work along the wall. That's where Busher hit. And this race is red flag. These guys are all lined up on the back straightaway going into turn three. They are rolling again. They got the wall fixed. <laughs> Good fucking Lord. Suarez, your leader. McDowell on the front row. Missed 
good because I was getting these Billy Cheesesteak fries. Good as fuck. Alrighty, so Christopher Bell just spun off of turn two. There's eight laps to go in stage number two. Larson won stage one. I couldn't really do anything there because I didn't have my camera on me and two, I was getting food because I was hungry, so I got lunch. Uh, stage uh, pit stops are about to happen. Who's gonna come to the line? They're probably gonna restart with maybe five to go in the stage. Uh, so it's gonna be a pretty interesting stage at hand.
Uncle Joy got help.
Well, that is it for the South Point 400. Kyle Larson is your winner. Tyler Reddick came in second. He was closing, uh, but Reddick was not all too happy with Larson. Uh, listening to the in-car radio, uh, Reddick was not too happy of that Larson put on him, which ended up costing him coming to the white flag. Um, so Reddick was not too pleased when the tractor fell. Uh, Ross Chastain, who took two tires on that final restart, comes home in fourth. Ryan Blaney came home in third. Uh, so overall, not a bad race. Chase Elliott, again, getting screwed by Alan Gustafson not setting up a car properly. Um, comes home in 12th. Uh, should have been quicker, should have been up higher. Uh, he was in... Uh, I don't know what that's all about. Uh, but if uh, he was running 8th at one point, he was in top 5 at one point, I believe. Might have been outside of it. Uh, but just didn't have the car. And that's all on the setup from Gustafson at the start of the weekend. Just didn't have the speed. Uh, and it's honestly getting really frustrating week in, week out, seeing Chase just not have the speed in the car anymore because no Gustafson's uh, setups. So, yeah, it's, it's annoying. Uh, but overall, I'm happy it's a Hendrick win. Uh, so far, at the start of the year, it's all been Chevys that have won the Cup Series. So, it's, uh, it's been a good race. So, I'm walking to the car right now. I'm gonna try and get hold. Sit in traffic. Uh, but thank you guys for tuning in and following along with me this weekend. Uh, if you liked it, hit that subscribe button, click the bell icon to be notified of whatever I upload again. And as always, don't forget, I'll see you in the next video.